just start talking and see what God says. Yeah. At some point, you're going to say something, you're whoa, yeah, okay. Excuse me while I write that down. Yeah. I, there are certain friends I get with, and when we get together, we don't have pen and paper. We put a tape recorder in the middle of the table. We're expecting to have a conversation of such magnitude Writing it down would hold that would stop the flow. Yeah. So we we just then give those tapes to someone to transcribe, and then we can read about what we said. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in our heart when we started the conversation, but you know with God, yeah. you cannot stop God from being amazing. Yeah. And so let's not try, eh? <laughs> let's have a mindset that proves that God is astonishing. That's what we're seeking. We're seeking the glory of God that transforms us, that then makes all our circumstances a lot more enjoyable. Jesus, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross. The Bible talks about long-suffering with joy. Even in those situations that are a little intractable, that are difficult, that take longer than usual because God can't teach you patience in a weekend. So there's never ever been a conference on patience. You can't learn it in a weekend. Some situations get drawn out because actually you're learning patience. But you never learn patience by itself. You always learn it with faith. Yeah? Faith and patience cause us to inherit. So if you're in a situation where you're learning patience, you're learning faith and patience. Mm -hmm. You never learn patience by itself. Mm -hmm. You never learn long suffering by itself. Long suffering is always accompanied by joy. See the difficult things we have to learn, they're always accompanied with something brilliant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, I went through a situation that took several years, extremely difficult, extremely painful, <coughs> but what did I learn? I learned the joy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I learned long suffering with joy. And I came out of it with a revelation and an experience of the happiness of God. Mm -hmm. yeah. The most difficult circumstance yeah. of my life. <coughs> And I learned the joy of the Lord. And the situation went on and on and on. But I got to a place where the joy of the Lord was so strong, and it lifted me into a different way of being. And in the end, it didn't matter to me how long the situation went on, because I wasn't in that space. Do you understand? It, it, it ceased to be a timing thing. When is this going to be over? And it, God lifted me into a different space that took me outside of time. So then, it, it, it had no meaning for me time in that situation. I was just, my heart was fixed over that. My heart was fixed. But it's one of the, it's a paradox. One of the most painful times of my life became the place where I discovered joy. That's another mystery. <laughs> It is what God is like. The difficult things we have to learn are always accompanied by something brilliant. You never learn patience by itself. You learn it with faith. You never learn long suffering by itself. You learn it with joy. God always puts something marvelous next to something difficult. It's what he's like. And we are in the business of discovering what God is. So, let me stop there. What about questions? Um, you know the scripture, uh, to will, God works in you to will and to do for his good pleasure. Can you uh, uh, describe what that means exactly, how he works in your will? You know? 
God works in us both to will and to do. Your will is the vehicle for your spirituality. Okay? Um, so, your will has to come into alignment with God. Um, what it's saying is, that is an intensely pleasurable circumstance. You know, you get these guys who say, you know, I really fought God on this and then I gave in. And I'm just thinking, what a pelican. 